Thomas Edison was born on February 11th, 1847 in Milan, Ohio. He was raised by his father, Samuel Edison Jr., and his mother, Nancy Elliott Edison. The Edison family consisted of two parents and seven siblings, Thomas Edison being the youngest of all seven. At age 12, Thomas and his family moved to Port Huron, Michigan, where he attended public school. Edison was never a very good student. After 12 weeks of schooling, his teacher considered him difficult due to his inability to focus and hyperactivity. Immediately, Edison's mother, a former school teacher herself, pulled him out of school to begin teaching him. Edison's mother had a major impact on his life. As Edison said, my mother was the making of me. She was so true, so sure of me, and I felt I had someone to live for, someone I must not disappoint. At age 13, Edison persuaded his parents to allow him to sell newspapers to passengers at the train yard. Edison began publishing and selling his newspaper called the Grand Trunk Herald. Passengers boarding trains loved Edison's newspapers and bought them to read about current events and up-to-date articles. At age 15, Thomas Edison scored a job as a telegraph operator, propelling his future career as an inventor. Thomas Edison's most notable invention was the incandescent light bulb. From 1878 to 1880, Edison thought of thousands of ideas on how to create the incandescent lamp. He worked at this idea and eventually got it to work in 1879. In 1880, he started producing thousands of light bulbs that improved the living for every person on Earth. Another revolutionary invention from Edison was electrical power lines. Thomas Edison had recently invented the incandescent light bulb and he needed an easy way to power them. With this in mind, he started to develop an electrical network that would carry electricity from power plants into people's homes. Edison used direct current and thick wires to transfer electricity long distances from power plants in order to give electricity to people's homes. Edison also invented the kinetoscope, or what he, we now call a film camera. In 1888, Edison's assistant, William Dixon, started working on a revolutionary camera that could record motion pictures. Once he figured out how to make it, Edison took the idea to be his own and started producing film cameras and films for people all over the world to watch. In your opinion, what is Thomas Edison's most important invention? So I was thinking about it. I like the phonograph, Max. Uh, I think the ability to record something and play it for others was ridiculously important for the time. We take it for granted now, the ability to communicate, but imagine hearing it, but not only hearing it, but hearing it in that person's voice. Think about hearing somebody's voice and how, what voice says it, and the, the, the tempo of how they say it, and how much emotion they put into it. That was able to be done, because now you can make a record and you'd be like, here. And I think that's why it's really important. Great answer. Edison struggled with many conflicts along his path to becoming one of America's most impactful inventors of all time. From a young age, Thomas Edison's education was very poor. He later became a railroad worker after dropping school at 12 years old. Also, Edison was an ill child, so he developed many illnesses such as scarlet fever and an eventual hearing problem. Later, Thomas Edison was forced to create new devices that would tend to his hearing disabilities since auditory signals were used in telegraphs. Currently, criticisms of Edison fuel the controversy of his legacy. Do you agree with Thomas Edison's ruthless and dishonest strategies? Um, so, I have to admit, most of what I've read about it did not sound great. However, I don't know the sources I read about their strategies, if they were biased or not. But if, you know, a tenth of what he did to Tesla and his people were true, that would be really, really bad and, not, and probably not the best way to do it. Ernest Freeberg, the author of The Age of Edison, Electrical Light, and The Invention of Modern America, indicates that the invention of the light bulb should be credited to multiple, multiple inventors instead of Edison alone. In an interview from U.S. News asked, You don't believe Thomas Edison should be credited as the inventor of the light bulb? Which then Freeberg responded, Definitely not, and a lot of what I look at in the book is trying to show that the invention is a very complex social process. He was in a very competitive race where he borrowed, some said stole, ideas from other inventors who were also working on an incandescent light bulb. Throughout Edison's career as an inventor, he was persistent in his work and continued striving until he found the solution. As Edison said while making the light bulb, I have not failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work.